project is progressing at a good pace, so I thought I would bring up the speed and show you what I've been doing. I've got the starboard side tank mounting blocks in place, and I'm about to start on the port side. So let me show you. These are the blocks. And to begin with, I have washed down the surfaces that will go against the hull with acetone. Fuel tank hold, I have marked where the blocks are going to go. And I have washed this down with acetone. The next step is to mix up some epoxy. I'll mix up straight epoxy and then I will coat the blocks with just straight liquid epoxy so that the epoxy has a chance to uh, soak into the wood and get a better grip on it. And then I'll thicken it and basically put peanut butter on the back of them and squish them in place. Now I was concerned that the thickened epoxy wouldn't be enough to hold the blocks in place while the epoxy cured, but my plan was to get some Gorilla Tape and tape them in place. So one block I did exactly that and it worked okay, but what I discovered was thickened epoxy is more than enough to hold those blocks in place. Have a look. I've got the blocks basically glued to the hull, put a fillet around them. This one is the first one I did up here. As you can see I put a duct, uh, <coughs> gorilla tape on it to hold it in place, but that was unnecessary. And once the once the um, epoxy has hardened sufficiently for me able to take the tape off, I'll take the tape off and then run a, a fillet like this around the top. The purpose of the fillet is so that should I choose to run some fiberglass mat over top of the blocks, I can do that without having to fuss too much where the fiberglass goes around the corners. But I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. The blocks will never be exposed to a lot of water or sunlight, and they are made of uh, Douglas fir. It's the same wood that I purchased when I was putting the boomkin and the bowsprit on. So it's, it's old growth, super strong, uh, well-dried wood, and I don't think I have to worry too much about it rotting out inside. I may paint it with epoxy uh, when, it's, when it's all cured up, but that's a decision and a job for another day. In the meantime, i got to get going and put some epoxy on this wood. I still have a little bit of thickened epoxy left over from this side, and I don't want to waste it, so it's busy curing away, and uh, so I need to do the next batch before it does cure. Stay tuned. So this is straight epoxy. It's uh, four, four shots of um, epoxy and basically three and a half shots of hardener. It's fairly warm out. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm soaked in sweat. And I'm not really exerting that much, just kind of jumping in and out of the uh, cockpit area. So this is uh, just liquid. I'm going to put it on those blocks let it soak in a little bit and then I'll thicken the remainder. So as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of epoxy to uh, prep the blocks. So now I'm going to go down below and throw some 405 and 404 thickener in there. <coughs> so there you have it. Nice and thick. Like gum. Put that on the block faces and press those into place. And with any of God's blessings, I'll be able to get the fuel tanks in without 
time to grind those back out again. All right, let's give it a shot, see what happens. All right, time to press this one into place. So what it looks like is a little bit of squeeze out around the edges, which is what I was hoping for. And that block just sits there just as sweet as you like. So we'll carry on. Block number two. Now, to be honest, that one doesn't look like it wants to stay in place like the other ones did. It's going to slip in a bit, but not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and prep the other two blocks, and then come back and fill it. Maybe the fillet will stop it from sagging. I hope. Here's number three. 